Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the four hottest business models of the year by far. These are being pushed super hard. The businesses work. We've seen people prove that they work. But the question is, is why don't they work for you? So if you're starting these businesses, you're thinking about starting these businesses, I'm going to help you out. I'm going to explain what it takes to make it work or why it might not work for you in the first place. It's going to be super easy. It's going to be super simple. You just got to hear me out for a sec. So who am I? I'm Nate Morrissey. In my first year, I collected over $200,000 in commissions and profit, did close to $2 million in revenue in the sales industry. And I want to give you guys my cup of tea on this. So first and foremost, all of these businesses require something. They all require some. All of these guys require clients, right? You need clients. And how do you get clients? You reach out to clients, whether that be cold call, whether that be cold email, whether that be Instagram DMs, you need to do some form of outreach to get clients. So we get there from outreach. Now my handwriting is the equivalent of a six year old. So let's just ignore it. You need to do outreach, right? And the whole goal here is to get on a sales call. It's to sell them. It's to close them on your product and service and to explain to them why it's worth paying for and to collect the cash on the call. So from here, you usually do hundreds to a thousand forms of outreach to get a client on the sales call, right? So you finally get to the point where you get to a sales call. You run through it. You pitch them, you tell them how it looks, you show them the timelines. You don't really have any results, or at least you might not yet. And it's difficult and they don't want, they, they don't want to think about it. They, they don't want to do it. They don't want your product and service. And then you start over in this cycle where you're back to getting clients doing, you know, hundreds of DMS, thousands of emails, cold calls, whatever it is, all of these businesses right here have one fundamental flaw. And it's the same reason why the hardest step, in all of these businesses is just landing your first client. That's why you see guys who, who push these businesses, why it takes them nine months to sign their first client. And then after there, they get rolling, right? They get a bunch of momentum, they get 10, 20K a month. So what is the skill that's missing here? What's the skill? It's sales, plain and simple. You cannot sell. That Your problem isn't necessarily your ability to fulfill. It's never even tested because you can't sell. So how do we solve that issue? Learning sales. But the question is, is how do you go about learning sales? Because there's people right now that sell like courses for like three grand, four grand, five grand. You probably don't have the money to pay for it. And being real, you could probably learn that same shit for free online. That's what I'd encourage you to do, right? So you can learn it for free online. But a better question is, is how can we get paid to learn this skill? How can we get paid to learn sales, right? Because let's say you go this route to learn sales, right? You just watch stuff, you consume. Here's the problem with that. If you've never played basketball and you just study Michael Jordan highlights, when you step out on that court, are you gonna play like Michael Jordan, yes or no? No, it doesn't just make you Michael Jordan. You need to put the reps in, you need to work on the implementation, the whole nine. There's a process to it. There's two ways that you can get more sales. Right? Repetition, putting the reps in, or skill. That's how you get more. Oh, that's terrible. Wow. It's absolutely terrible. Um, anyway, those are the two ways that you can get more sales, regardless of what your business is, is reps or skills. Right now, you are just in the reps phase where you just do countless DMs, countless emails, countless cold calls and you don't have a ton of skill. And this is like the means to an end. It's why people quit because they don't learn sales. So it goes back to the fundamental principle. How can you learn sales? But more importantly, how can you learn sales and get paid to do so? Because that's what I did. I got literally paid to learn sales. And I'm going to teach you how to do it. So the first thing when it comes down to it, when it comes to learning sales is there are opportunities, guys, like right now that, that literally you could do where you can sell stuff from other people and you don't have to manage it. So you're not going to have to manage fulfillment. You're not going to have to worry about running the ads. You're not going to have to worry about managing the prospect. You're not going to have to worry about pretty much all the headaches of a typical business model. And you can just sell. You can just get appointments. You can close appointments. I'm going to teach you how to get there. So one of the best ways to learn sales is you have two options. You have online versus 
in person. All right, hopefully you guys can see that. Cool. Online or in person. Now, with these, since you don't have a ton of skill, how can you find an opportunity that you can get in that has a low barrier to entry? Because if you don't have skills, you're probably not going to get hired as a yacht broker or a jet broker because you don't have the skills yet. So how do we get there? In person, the best way, the best way to learn sales is, I think, door to door. That's what I did. It's, it's, it's very simple. You do 50 to 100 knocks a day. You talk to random people. They have no idea who you are. You pitch them on your product or service, give them to the commit to a time on the calendar. And then a closer comes in who's more experienced than you and he closes the deal. You split the commission. And because of this, right? Because of this in the door to door industry, door to door, you get a, a bunch of reps in. And then the second part, you're learning from someone who's already done it. And most of these uh, industries right here, you are a signed a mentor and he's incentivized to teach you, right? He's incentivized to teach you how to appointment set. These companies offer training, all this stuff. And you literally get paid to learn the skill. And then from there, cause you're gonna go from, here's how it starts. In door to door, you start as an appointment setter. Right, can you see that? Cool, we're running out of room here. And then you transition into closing. So we've had appointment setters that we brought on in the door to door industry. They did 10 grand a month as an appointment setter. Right, so the question is, if we could take you from where you are now, you know, if you're one of these, or you're thinking about doing one of these, you're not making any money, if you could learn $10,000 a month worth of skills on how to set appointments, would you really wanna do this in the first place? Like, would you wanna go back? to this business model? Or would you just stay with that? The question is, is you have the choice to do so. You just gotta learn sales and you can literally get paid to do so in the door to door industry. So industries that I would look for are insurance and solar or pest control. No, cut that out. So industries that I would look for in the door to door space, pest control, there will always be bugs. There will always be the need or the desire to remove bugs. The second industry would be solar. Right, people, there are lights right here, lights, the sun. The sun goes up every single day, every single day without fail. We can help people save money from the sun just by running their homes on renewable products. Done deal. It's great, it saves them money. They're great business models. I know people who do 20, 30, 40, up to 60K a month in both these industries right here. So pest control and solar. Now, if you wanna go the online route, when you go online, the barrier to entry is higher. I'm just letting you know this in advance, so you know what to expect. If you wanna go the online route, insurance. So Nate, why do you say insurance? Here's why. Because at the end of the day, it is not necessarily about what's working just today, it's about what's gonna to work tomorrow and next year. You gotta play the long game. Because if you're in it for this like little temporary buzz, this temporary moment where everything's like super duper hot and it fades away and it dies and, and everyone pushes a model that doesn't work. Social media marketing agency, they, they just don't really work anymore. You don't see any really ton of success in this space anymore. And the reason being is, is it was like a phase. We've moved on. We're now in the growth operating phase is you want something that can withstand the test of time. Because you don't want to just make money today. You want to make money next year, the year after that, five years down the road. You are in this for the long game. Because 10 years from now, no one's going to care if you made 50K a month eight years ago. That's the reality. So you want to make sure you can withstand the test of time. Insurance is a great way to go about it. People die. People want to be protected when they die. On their family's worst day of their life, people want to know that their families have protection. Right? That's why insurance is a great industry and you can do this online, but I want to tell you the caveat, the catch here is there is a barrier to entry. You're going to have to get certified in your state, wherever that is. You got to pay, take a state exam. I think it's like $500 now um, for your exam. And then you get placed in an opportunity, bada boom, bada bing, you're selling, right? You're selling people, you're setting appointments, you're closing. And in the industry, uh, as far as insurance goes, um, my buddy Connor, he has people on his team that do over 20000 a month. And we get to the goal, because the goal of all these businesses is to make a ton of money. You can do that through sales and not have to worry about any of the fulfillment, any of the management. 
None of that stuff. And if you want to do one of these businesses and you actually want to make sure it works, you have to learn sales. So you can go the route of just watching and consuming stuff online. But at the end of the day, that is not going to make you a stone cold closer. It's not. You need to get the reps in. And the problem is you're paying for your lack of skill with your time right now. When you could just jump into one of these industries, low barrier to entry, learn the skill. If you really want, you don't want to make 10 grand a month, 20 grand a month in door to door. You can go back to one of these industries, but it all starts with sales. So if you're looking for more information on sales, we have a free school, school community, right? We have a free school community where we teach not only industries I'll be looking for, um, you know, sales tactics, strategies, the whole nine, everything you need in there to help you out. It's free. I'll plug it in the description down below. As always, just stay focused. Find the flaws in your business. If you think it's sales like I do, learn the skill. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one.